going on today we are in the lab getting ready to play with some new toys this was a project that culminated when uh cory aka c2 fab was on the show with us uh he helped me find some lights for a project i've been thinking about doing a makeshift uh scale version of a d1 light bar uh, check these out. How sick is that? Man, so these guys are super duper duper small, plenty bright. Uh, I got this huge spool of them for I think about $25 shipped or something like that. If I remember correct, there's like five meters on here, so uh, plenty of lights to go around. But I'm thinking all kinds of cool stuff, man. You could stack these to make some pretty cool tail lights. You could, you know, make some underglow. Uh, they weigh next to nothing. You can cut them wherever down the line that you want, solder them together. Uh, they have these little exposed kind of back protrusions here. See if I can get that to focus on the camera. That's kind of hard to see, but about every inch, uh, they have an exposed piece of copper that you can. Um, hit with the solder and I believe you just take a little bit back on, your, on the gray so uh, we'll see how easy they are to work with uh, here we go pretty wicked huh so we'll be periodically coming back and testing these lights making sure everything is soldered accordingly and we did a good job so for the windshield I was kind of at a loss I didn't want to put those lights maybe on the body or the exterior though that would be really simple really easy so my solution for the time being uh, until I can plan on having a gap up top by the windshield banner is gonna be these little 3d printed bracket bars now I just made these on my little 3d printer here at the house I made four of them in 40 minutes so they're about 10 minutes each roughly um, but you can see the light just fits right into the two little channels that are here uh, which will allow me to flush mount it to the windshield all right so I have my little exposed bit of copper on the back here I'm gonna add just a little bit of flux it's gonna help my solder puddle and jump into where it needs to go um, using my track power I believe this is a 60 might be a 70 watt it's the track power 955 digital station rig uh, I really 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 like this one uh, pretty affordable price if you don't have a nice soldering iron I highly suggest it now I'm being lazy I already did it um, but I'm using the flat tip on here I don't know if you guys can see that, but that flat tip, uh, it's not the easiest for these little jobs. Uh, the pinpoint one would probably be a little easier, but we're making do. If you know what you're doing, uh, it doesn't take a lot of anything, especially when you're using flux. You can see I just grab a little dab off of there. I set everything up just so I can be as hands-free as possible. Uh, so on this one, I'm just literally just going to touch. And you can see the flux helped my solder jump onto both connectors. And these wires I'm using, guys, I just had some old LEDs that had either burned out or were from old mix match kits that maybe the connectors didn't match up or something. And I don't really use those type of kits anymore, so especially 
learning more and more about LEDs from Corey, man. I think uh, building my own kits in the future is going to be something I absolutely look into doing. Uh, I've always kind of slept on doing light kits in my cars just because they're expensive and or they don't work great. So it was kind of the catch-22 and uh, especially with some of the guys at the track really like running night drifts and stuff, uh, and I, myself included. I think uh, pushing for some more lights on my rigs is going to be the only thing that will make us do that more. So um, I'm loving where this could go, and you know, adding you know this Hey OK brake switch. This is a game changer for me. Uh, making a little scale brake light is going to be kick ass. Although. Uh, no more breaking and baiting people in the corner to win, huh? <laughs> Strong, Brody Goble trying to chase him. Oh my goodness! Goble runs into the back of Meeks. All right, so didn't film it live, but our first attempted solder is a success. I snipped it from the rest of the line just in case it was touching or something. Didn't want to risk shorting the, the lights out, so. Uh, we have a success, so let's keep moving. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the roll cage out of the car just with shoe goo. So that's one of the nice things about using shoe goo. You can just remove, transplant, do whatever you got to do. In this case, I need to make some modifications. So um, I paid close attention visually. We need to choke up towards the base this is the most exposed piece and we want to kind of match up light for light where they're at so if we have these two kind of crisscrossing here in the center the remainder of the lights are kind of uniform so we're gonna just kind of pinch it down come in here with some super glue and just lay a fat glob of super glue down that was an accident sorry workbench Oh, the magic of making YouTube videos sometimes, huh, guys? You gotta be careful. Don't glue your fingers. Pull the lights back with them. But make sure you got them aimed correctly. Let's give that glue a couple minutes to cure. And we'll be right back. Oh yeah, that's looking sick, huh? Just wait. It'll get better. So and then I usually wait till I solder them up, but once you tin them, they're a lot easier to snip and trim down. So you can see I just trimmed probably 60% or so of that away. Don't need a big connection. Don't want lots of exposure or something to cross or cause a short. So keep everything nice and tidy, especially since we're not using shrink wrap here. Highly suggest that to you guys. So we'll go ahead and we'll rig this down like last time. We're gonna just set the piece on here. Get this kind of close to the ground. I like it pushing up so it's got pressure against it. It'll help me hold the solder joint in place once I touch it with the flux. And then it should help me keep it in place until that solder sets. And then you just have to touch the other side and call it a day. So we'll wipe off, clean here. I'm going to just quick dab in the flux again just to help that solder flow. And here we go. So these wires are so, so teeny tiny guys. Just a quick touch with the flux, quick touch with the solder gun, and you're good to go. See that? Didn't even barely touch it. And it's good. Okay, come over here again. Make sure that the tip of my solder iron has the solder on it. And we'll do a touch. And we're set. Wipe off the extra. Do the pull test. Good. We'll do the battery test. And once again, we're just gonna snip it just for safety. I trust my solders, but, you know, no sense in wasting good lights. Okay, we'll snip it one light. 
early. That'll give us some that we can kind of like wrap around back into here. Maybe set some glue in there. We'll glue this bad boy in. But let's check if we soldered right. This should work. First try. Oh, oh. Seeing some little red light dances. And, oh no. Huh, look at that. We got two dead joints here. So let's see. Yep. Okay. That was my fear. I think we shorted them when we cut through this. You can try. Nope. Let's just see how short are we now. Ah, poo. All right, guys. So that is in the live and learn. So what I'll do is I'll save this for the scrap pile and we're gonna try this again. All right, got another solder joint. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, so lesson learned, cut it in the right spot, got all the lights, should look pretty bad in this little light bar here, got enough to bend around so you won't even see the lights, we'll hide them, or excuse me, the wires, we'll hide the wires and behind the light bar, killer, I'm loving this, this is going to look solid, so let's go ahead and uh, I got it kind of pre-bent, so let's do the dirty work here. Oh, great. Glued the cap to the glue. All right. So I'm gonna start this back here in this corner. Leaked a bunch of glue into my hand. Perfect. Look at that, big zoom. <laughs>